In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the changes added to asset models in Order 14 accounting. So under configuration uh, management, we have asset models. So asset models is useful if you are recurrently buying some kind of assets or uh, it helps to create your asset entries faster. So if you open asset models and create inside the form you can see some changes that is before there were depreciation method and accounting session but a new feature is added to this form that is existing depreciation schedule. So this is useful when we are importing some data from another software. So before there were some depreciation data, so that needed to be imported because uh, a, com a company's uh, report need to be in a right way. Uh, so they have to include those reports that were you that uh, those data that were used before. So here we have three fields. First one is depreciated amount. So this is used because we have to uh, we have to report this amount that was used before in another software so that the we will get the right depreciation table report. So this amount is not coming from this model, uh, the model no, uh, that we are creating now. So it is coming from uh, the soft. Uh, it is coming from another software that is the data that uh, from the data that we are importing. Then existing depreciation. So in case of an import from another software, we have to provide the number of depreciations already done before starting with ODO. So before some softwares uh, were used, so a total count of existing depreciations need to be added here. Then first depreciation date. So date of, we have to provide the first date of depreciation. Uh, that is the first depreciation created date have to be added here. So these are the changes added to asset models in ODOT 14 accounting. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any ODOT implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.